Hi, I'm Brad Saunders. Welcome to another episode of We Make It Sick, powered by Bosch and Dremel. Today we'll be making a really simple project, a Viking chair. We thought that would be perfect for the trusty Durban car guards who keep our cabbies safe while we surf in town. I had an offcut of an 18mm shutterboard that I've used which is around 2 meters long. The tools you'll be needing for this project is a skill saw, a grinder, a router, a power drill, a 16mm spade bit, a hacksaw blade or coping saw, a straight edge, which we use the level for this one, 100 grit sandpaper, a tape measure, a sharp pencil and just an inch of elbow grease. So the first thing we need to do is to cut the board into two equal lengths. Your length can range anything from 600 mils to 900 mils long. We need to make a mark on board A, a third of the way up, uh, draw a pencil line across and then do the same on board B. Place board B on board A to mark the size of the slot we will be cutting out. Make a mark 50 millimeters in from each side of on board A. Make the cutout, but be sure to cut on the line for this one so the cutout is a little bit bigger than the 80 mil board that's going to slide through it. Take board B and make a mark 50 millimeters in from the edge as we did with board A. Take your straight edge and extend that line down the length of your board. Make those cuts, take grinder and sandpaper and neaten up the cuts and take all the rough edges off. Yes, what he was trying to say was that I must find my own way. Cause otherwise I'd just be joining the state. You can put any design you want on your backrest. We used the router and did the zigzag logo for this project. Right, once that is done, take board B and slide it through the cutout in board A and there you have it, a simple chair that you can use anywhere out on the beach for camping or just chilling around the house. Since we made our first Viking chair, the prototype, we realized that uh, it's not the strongest chair in the world, so we just upgraded it a bit. So the main differences from the original chair to the, the newbie is we've put a, a handle on it, we've made it into one piece, we've put straps in the back so it all stays together nicely when, you, when you're cruising with it and uh, just some rubber lining on the top and bottom just for to ease the wear and tear on it. I think what I should have thought about this long time ago. 